tough drill instructor over here today. I know. Maybe if you listen to me, I don't know. Good luck, buddy. Maybe. Now, personally, I wouldn't take this. If a manager talks like this, I'm gonna hand him my uniform and walk out with both birds up. Dude's probably already getting crap slinged at him by the customers. He doesn't need it on this side of the counter, too. You know, this girl probably thinks she's God's gift to this place, but she's more like the box Zeus gave Pandora. What's crack a lackin' everybody? It's your boy Thundros coming at you with some more content. And you know, I mean, I, I've never covered Undercover Boss. I've never watched too much of it. But I saw a manager getting fired by a CEO and I just thought, you know what? Th that's what we need to go after today. And there are some pretty crappy customers out there, I'm not gonna lie, but sometimes the biggest Karen in the building is the boss you work under. It's something we probably all experienced at one point in our lives, so I thought it'd be fun to come together and just flay this chick like a perch. So kick back, relax, and enjoy, and uh, I'll get to making fun of this bimbo of a manager. There's a lot of stuff to know, okay. but it's not hard. You wanna, you wanna own it, manage it, right? The gym. Yes. Okay, so that's even more important. Like me, I'm just a front desk, so I just kind of sit here, say my haze, how are you, you know. But most of the time, I'm kind of just like this. Okay, we could say that she's just uh, phoning it in. But I'll admit that I'm pretty crack addicted to my phone and so is most of the rest of the world. These days, who really gives a crap if you're using your phone at work as long as you're not doing it in front of customers? The fact that she just did this in front of the CEO is just very unfortunate. But I don't think it's something we can hold against her. I mean, most of us are exactly the same. You use that while you work? Yep. If someone may have a question, maybe they might not approach you because they think you're busy. You know, they don't want to interrupt your personal- Well, that's actually never happened to me. People love to interrupt here. People love to interrupt. Bitch, you're hourly. People ain't interrupting sh I'm convinced she knew this was the CEO. She's just trying to get fired. Like, I know she's training the guy and she doesn't really care, but nobody doesn't not care this much. Like, 100% this girl's out here trying to collect unemployment. I'm not a slave. I don't work for you. With some people, I just want to punch them in the face sometimes. Members, they're, they're literally stupid. They don't know anything. Yeah, you're not supposed to say this out loud, but I can't say I don't sympathize. Anyone who's worked in customer service has definitely wanted to punch someone at one point. When I worked in a phone store, I used to get yelled at daily by people I was just trying to help. This girl's mentality is not only normal, but probably healthy. Because customers will come in acting dumber than they actually are. True story, I used to work at a Walmart and someone asked me where they could buy Afterbirth. We're not dealing with logical people. Do you want to do smoothies? Uh, yeah, I think it's great. I They're really important. This is the menu how we make it. It's super explanatory, like you would be literally brain dead if you can't get it. My god, if you hate a job so much that you have the enthusiasm of tofu, maybe you should just not be there. You might hate the customers, but I guarantee they probably probably hate you just as much. When boomers say all millennials are lazy, this is the picture in their mind. I bet this girl eats all the avocado toast. This is our peanut butter and chocolate. Now, we're not supposed to put more than what it says on the menu. And it says on the menu, one pump. I always put two and a half. It tastes better, honestly. Girl, you need to pick a lane. I thought you hated people. Now you're talking about giving them a better experience? Not two minutes ago, you were like, Ugh, customers are stupid. Maybe she has a code of honor. Like, okay, look, I might hate this place. The customers are idiots, but you know what? They're still gonna get a good service. That's, uh, gotta say, pretty admirable. That makes a disgusting shake, honestly. Okay. So what I always do, one, and hold juice. Fill it to the top. Right. Don't overflow it, because then you'll make a mess. Put it in the sink. I noticed that there was like extra in here. Like, what do you, do you guys I like make samples out of that? You don't offer I, it to the member nope. at all? You just dump, dump it out. Do you want to show me how to make a shake? This place is definitely struggling for employees and it is not because of the employment recession. Our guy here is just trying to ask some questions and she's like, listen, you want to show me how to make a shake, huh? My sister in Christ, this is not how you train people. Give this man a hug before you're an ingredient in that blender. But, go ahead, know, go with the we'll cone, dude. The First of all, Barry's awkward. He's condescending. He's not absorbing anything that I'm saying. Yeah, Barry's the one being condescending here. Girl, I I don't think you've shut up for longer than five seconds. You never ask a girl if she's in her red zone, but sometimes it's blatantly apparent. I need to believe that this is not this girl's default, because if it is, holy sh**. How come this isn't punching? Not rocket science, the hole puncher. I'm not even a violent person, but I guarantee if I worked with this chick, holes would not be the only thing getting punched. Like, call me Saitama, because a hand would be thrown. God dang, though, this is a person she just met. Like, imagine what she's like to people consistently in her life. I'm just gonna go off the assumption that she has no friends. Like, who would want to spend longer than five minutes around this harpy? I'm getting, like, secondhand exposure to her right here, and even I want to slap her. We haven't even had, like, five minutes with her, and I'm already at the point where her voice feels physically irritates me. Good luck, buddy. I'm gonna need it today. I'm gonna...
kill him. <laughs> and now she's talking about end gaming him. Like, this feels like a real hostile work environment. And by the way, chick, I, I bet the feeling is mutual. Working with you sounds about as fun as a mouthful of canker sores. If you guys can't tell, I'm trying to say this girl's a giant bit. Jacqueline. Yes, Eric. The first thing that I took note of that was completely unacceptable was how you treated some of our members right in front of them. How she was treating the members? Uh, talk about how she was treating the new employees. I mean, it's cool after getting shafted that this guy's worried about the customers, but still. Like, if she's treating you like that, imagine how she's treating other new hires. I don't know about you, but I'd be looking at the logs to see how many people quit in the last six months. I'm willing to bet we could find a common denominator on the reason. <laughs> Jacqueline. First of all, you're coming at me saying that I'm disrespectful to members, which is completely false. Look, we didn't get any clips of, you know, her just being terrible to customers, but we did see her tell someone, listen, I, I really want to murder that guy. And frankly, no one's coming in for that crap. They came for a smoothie. No one wants to hear about your problems, Jacqueline. Because, no, don't, like, seriously, I don't. There's no answer you could possibly say right now to me. None. Okay. That is going to be acceptable. God dang, do I hope everybody's breathing this in, because how often do you get to watch someone like this actually get shut down? This is the CEO of a company going, you need to shut up. This is the corporate version of Divine Retribution, and it is sweet. The toughest one I had is how you were speaking about the members. The members, they treat us like crap or they say this. Once again, I'm not going to blame her for that one. People probably have said some pretty messed up crap to her. This was probably the nicest thing she actually did being like, hey, people are jerks. I don't know about you, but if I'm walking into a crap show, I hope somebody warns me about it. She was just trying to mentally prepare him for when, you know, someone screams at him for not having enough peanut butter in their drink. It told you a lot about me as a person. It told me about you as an you employee. Don't, I, don't, you I don't know you as a person. You don't know me as a, exactly. I don't, don't want to know, know this person. person. Oh, okay, well, you know what? That's, that's unfortunate you for you. Oh, the CEO doesn't want to get to know her. And I'm sure after this recording, I, I doubt anyone wants to know her. And you know, she can say, oh, well, that's unfortunate for you. But frankly, I don't think we're the ones taking the L here. I get the sense she's the kind of person that probably gets into a lot of hookups. And then when she actually asks for a relationship, they're like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't think that would work out. Like people get a glimpse of the person she is and they're just like, yeah, no, I, I don't want any part of that. Tell me what you think about that as an employee of the company, representing the company, how that behavior is. I don't know what, what you want me to say. Sorry. Like, I don't know what you want me to say but in that situation. Yeah, the CEO kind of already said uh, y y there's nothing you can say. Like, sorry is there, but you can't unact like a monster. At least she's accepting that she got caught in 4K, but at the same time, you're talking to your boss's 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 boss. I don't think this is the time to try to save face, which you're doing poorly, by the way. Like, a NASCAR pileup is less of a wreck than this. Unfortunately, that's all I have to show you guys today. Really, I mean that because this is a train wreck I, I would love to keep watching. But anyways, Try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundros signing off.